Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics everyone. As you can see we're in the final stages of our greenhouse construction. Uh, you can see an outside view here. To the left we have a 300 gallon water storage tank in the back that is for RO water for the entire greenhouse. In front of it is a one and a half horsepower chiller that we'll use in the summertime to uh, cool the nutrient reservoirs inside the house on a uh, four hour cycling basis. As you can see we have our uh, vents installed. Uh, these are motorized vents. They open uh, based on a thermostat control. There are two fans in the back of the greenhouse that draw the air through the greenhouse uh, with these vents open. Is a view from the inside. Uh, we have on our left three 75 gallon, or I'm sorry, yes, three 75 gallon water reservoirs. On top of these will go uh, two two by four flood and drain or ebb and flow tables. They'll be stacked. We'll be growing uh, strawberries in those. On the left hand side, there's three monster ebb and flow systems that we'll be growing uh, blueberries and raspberries in. At the back of the house you can see the, uh, the exhaust fans at the top, the maze of plumbing down here at the bottom. All of that uh, plumbing is for the solenoid valves connected to the Rainbird control system that opens and shuts these valves based on a time basis that help us cycle these uh, nutrients through the chiller outside. Uh, you can see the uh, RO system here in front, the main system pump. There is a uh, tall blue uh, pre-filter over here. And this space here will be for our mixing tank. Uh, we have it in the barn still, haven't had it installed yet just due to the fact that it is the last thing to go. This is our uh, main control area. On the right hand side we have a 60 amp service coming in. We have a major control box here that allows us to operate each of the valves on the system manually or select the Rainbird system, uh, manually control the pump or have the Rainbird system control it. Switches for the chiller, the exhaust fans and the grow system pumps and one spare one just in case we forgot something down the road. To the left of the Rainbird is a pump start relay so in essence uh, as, uh, as a solenoid turns on on the input side to draw water from the reservoir that uh, little gray box activates the system pump and draws the water from the uh, reservoir draws it through the chiller and then uh, that pump continues to drive it uh, on a return cycle through another valve. That's a standard feature for uh, Rainbird sprinkler systems or most sprinkler systems that have to draw water from uh, a lake or a well. So that wasn't anything ingenious that we came up with. But anyway, uh, that is uh, where we're at. We have our pumps out here ready to go into the uh, ebb and flow tables. Uh, we'll get those installed this week. Get the uh, mixing tank that's going to reside under here installed this week and do a major uh, water systems test. We've already done system tests on the Rainbird to ensure that all of our wiring is correct. We've done all the system tests on the control box to make sure all our wiring works. So now the big question is does our glue hold and uh, does anything leak? So we'll be doing the major water test uh, hopefully tomorrow because we have plants coming either on Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks for visiting us and we'll see you next time on Practicing Hydroponics.